Hello, this is Richard van Eelsburg from the University Medical Center Utrecht, the Netherlands. And I am Daniela Molina from Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in the United States. And we are the guest editors of a special supplement published in ISDE, Diseases of the Esophagus Journal, on robotic-assisted minimally invasive esophagectomy, a new standard of care. We're so excited to tell you about this supplement because this is a very timely topic. As you know, minimally invasive esophagectomy is a complex operation with a long learning curve, and the robotic platform has allowed increased utilization of this technique. Outcomes data, in fact, comparing with robotic and open esophagectomy have shown improved perioperative morbidity and a faster recovery, and yet preserving oncologic outcomes. So we hope that this comprehensive collection of articles about robotic esophagectomy written by leading surgeons worldwide will provide a very useful resource for the surgeons that want to improve their skills and also for students and trainees that are approaching this technique. There are so many things to learn in the robotic supplement, such as a comprehensive overview of the robotic esophagectomy, including the different approaches such as transthoracic, transhiatal, and the McEwen, and a focus on the robotic and estomotic techniques and recurrent laryngeal nerve dissection in the upper mediastinum. Tips of how to avoid and to manage complications, and for the first time, the long-term outcome of the robot trial. We also have tips and tricks uh, from the bedside assistant and then information about how to teach fellows and residents and timing for learning curve. And we have some innovative approach as in the transcervical esophagectomy. I would like to thank Daniela Molena for a great collaboration as a co-editor of this special supplement. And we would like to thank Giovanni Zaninotto, the editor in chief, Sarah Wolper, and the editorial board of diseases of the esophagus, Andrew Hill, Manny Dunn, and the staff of Oxford University Press. And also thanks to the International Society for Disease of the esophagus for their support. And I personally want to thank you, Richard, for being uh, such a supportive co-editor and for your amazing leadership and uh, advancement that you have spearheaded in this field. Thanks goes also to the Intuitive Surgical for their sponsorship. Thank you, Daniela. Last but not least, a big thank to the authors who submitted their articles and for their effort of putting the information together. Uh, so click on the link below to see the supplements on robotic assisted minimally invasive esophagectomy. And please don't forget to tell us what you think about it by leaving a comment. So thank you for listening. And bye for now. Bye-bye.